All right guys, Chris here with Rack Up and Go, and today we're gonna to be talking about the EcoFlow Power Kit and how you can connect that to your 12 volt DC refrigerator. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we've got the EcoFlow Power Kit hooked up here, and what we're working with here today is the EcoFlow five kilowatt hour independence kit. So we've got our hub here, we've got our console here, our AC-DC distribution panel here. And then I've also got a couple positive and negative bus bars set up. This is gonna be used for a later demonstration of hooking a 12 volt DC air conditioner. And though for that install, you're gonna to wanna to go to the bus bars. But for today, with hooking up the refrigerator, we're gonna be working mainly inside this AC-DC distribution panel. So we've got the system powered on. We've got plenty of available time. We have nothing going on for inputs and we have nothing out for outputs right now. When we're hooking stuff up, we do wanna make sure our DC output is off. So you can see I've toggled that on. Now I'm gonna to toggle that back off. Um, for a little extra security, you can even disconnect the power, like turn the power off and disconnect the power from the battery. Uh, but having the DC output off should be sufficient for this. And for the circuit you're working on, you can even pull the fuse for a little extra, extra, extra safety. But Today, we're just gonna be wiring up the fridge. So we'll pop this cover off. I've already taken out, there's six screws. There's three in the top and three in the bottom. And this is your kind of decorative plate here that you can also label. So your AC circuits are gonna be here, one through six. And then your DC circuits are gonna be here, one through 12. It does come with a little adhesive label, so you can label that to whatever you're plugging into circuit one, circuit two, circuit three, etc. I don't have anything labeled yet. We're just getting started with this, so. I'm gonna take out this top screw. It's just hand threaded in. And then this pops off. And now we can see all of the insides. We've got our AC input over here, our DC input over here. And this is set up for 12 volt. We've got our negative connections down here for the 12 volt DC and then our positive connections up here. And this is actually where we're gonna be working to install our fridge. These are all really nice, just snap and click connectors, very similar to a Wago style. And then the fuse is up top, you know, so we've got 10 amp, these are your standard auto fuses. And that's what we're gonna be using for the circuit for this fridge. All right, so we're gonna bring our positive and negative wires from the fridge in through the bottom of this AC-DC distribution panel. There's a couple holes here for knockout, so you can get all your wires in and out. And there are actually rubber covers that you can plug this hole up say if you wanted to take all these wires out and switch everything over to AC circuits or you know for whatever reason you could plug that hole back up. So we've gonna, we're gonna take our positive wire, we're gonna flip open that connector on the first circuit, clamp that down, and then we're gonna take our negative wire, pop that one open, that's gonna insert into this one. Give it a little tug, make sure everything's in there. And it is. And now we can go into our console here. We can pull up our DC circuits. We can actually edit this circuit and we can rename it. Check mark. And we can select an icon for this. And it looks like it's already on a sort of chest style freezer. So that'll work. Save that. And then we can turn this circuit on. turn the DC power output on, and then we can choose to turn that circuit on. And we should get a nice light here. So a circuit two and circuit three are off. You can see these lights here are dim, and this light is lit up. And same thing, all the rest of these are also powered on, and we can go through and turn those off right here from the console. In all of these controls, turning on DC and AC switches, they can also be controlled using the Android or iOS EcoFlow app. So you'll, you'll be able to check even energy consumption. So it's a really handy feature. If you're ever curious how much energy your fridge uses, you can actually turn off all the circuits and see what the draw is. Um, so I highly recommend the app and checking that out. All right, we've got our wires connected in here. And so we're gonna come into the power console and we're going to check this first circuit. And we're gonna turn that on. We've got our light on in the fridge, that's a good sign. And then on the bottom, we're able to set our temperatures. So our 
max and min. I kind of like where that is right now, so we'll leave that there. Here the fans running, the compressor's going. Looks like we're all set. Fridge is wired in and ready to go. All right guys, that wraps up this video where we wired in our 12 volt Vitrofrigo refrigerator into our EcoFlow independence power kit. We've got it wired into circuit one in our AC-DC distribution panel. It is on, pulling about 52 watts at the moment. If you have any questions, please contact customer care at rackupgo.com. And remember, life's an adventure. Rack up and go.